Hello everybody, I am Deepshika Rana from Corn Masters and today we are here for sharing another interview, interview experience of Chatura who is one of the students of Quan Masters and recently got placed in Cognizant as a Gen C developer. Heartiest congratulations to you Chatura from the team of Quan Masters. Thank you so much ma'am. So how are you feeling? Did you Was this your first interview that you uh, got placed in or mm -hmm. have you sat for like many interviews? Yeah, uh, before I joined the Quant Masters, I, I was failed in so many companies like Infosys and uh, where I have tried for the CTS. After I joined for Quant Masters, I cracked every company and I have joined in six, I have got offerities from six companies and at the Cognizant uh, Gen Z developer was the high package where I got the best company. Congratulations, Chatura. You seem so confident. I am sure interviewer would be like really glad that yes, students are coming really? out so confidently. Yes, ma'am. Really, I can say that Quant Masters gives a best confidence and best training for us to place in a different companies. That's so nice, Chatra. That's so nice of you. So, before starting, we would really like to know which department and college you are from. Yes, ma'am. Myself, my name is Chatra, and I am from Andhra Pradesh. I recently completed my BTEC in July. And I uh, in the, I done my BTEC in the branch of electronics and communication engineering in Gates Institute of Technology, Gupti. So being a, a student of electronics and communication, how did you get inclined towards uh, IT sector? Yes, ma'am. Uh, I am much more interested in the software field where we, got, we want to improve ourselves in the future. With the mm -hmm. I am interested in the programming to crack the... First of all, when I, I joined before the Quant Masters in programming skills, I was in technical, I was much more less. When I joined through the training, I was more interested and learned a lot for the technical, for the interviews and for the exam to crack everything in the assessment and companies. So, uh, Chatura, for everybody, there is a weaker part and there is a strong part uh, yes, subject, if, if it comes to subject. So uh, when it comes to the placement uh, preparation, for everybody, there's a strong hold and there's a weak hold on a subject. Okay. So how did you manage? I, I mean, how did you balance on both and how did you improve on the one with the weaker yeah, uh, section? I want to crack my assessment test for the companies. It is, it is the main for the every student to crack the assessment level, first of all, after, before the interview. So and I am good at logical and verbal. But I was uh, much more less in the technical and the quant. When I joined the quant masters, I prepare, uh, there were so many logics, but without touching the pen, we can crack the quantitative and every question in seconds. So by practicing the every method daily, then we can crack the assessments definitely. And by using the model papers in the portal of the quant masters, where, by the specific company training portals, I can practice the uh, question and uh, there is in week there will be uh, some uh, coding question exams and uh, we can participate in that so that we can improve our level and we know that where we are in the competitive world in the exams so that by seeing that we can improve ourselves where we are good and where we are weak so by improving uh, step by step levels in the uh, exams then we can improve much more ourselves okay chatra that's very well said so uh... Chatura, since uh, the whole purpose of this interview experience that we are taking of yours, of Cognizant, is basically uh, to help those students who will be preparing for their uh, interviews of Cognizant or any other interviews uh, and will be looking out for more information on YouTube. Yes. So we need to give as much information as possible. So yes. whatever you remember, you have to say it, okay? Here. Okay. So let's start with how many rounds were there? First, uh, for everyone, there will be there is a uh, in Gen C developer, there is a Gen C and there is a Gen C elevate ma'am. So mm -hmm. in Gen C assessment in cognition, there is a two rounds. Round one is assessment test, and round two will be an interview, will be both technical and HR in the same round. So first okay. we want to crack the Gen C assessment test. There mm -hmm. will be a logical, quantitative, and verbal where it is of a two hours exam. First, they'll give a mail for, uh, they'll give that uh, there is a lot of phases, ma'am. They'll release in, uh, when we applied in the June, they gave me the phase three. I written my exam in July 23rd. 
So mm -hmm. there is the uh, there will be a timing of uh, from three to ten. We can write at any time. Okay. So okay. Uh, they will give you a time slot. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. There is no specific time slot, but they will give us a time of uh, six hours from three to ten. Something that we can write ourselves in uh, where we are available and comfortable timing. So okay. uh, first of all, there will be a in Gen C first round will be of three three. First one is a quantitative, logical, and verbal. And quantities of twenty four questions and thirty five minutes, where it is mm -hmm. of probability, average, time on work, ratio, and proportions. And coming to the logical, it is also of twenty five questions and thirty five minutes. There will be at least one and a half minute for every question. Uh, mm -hmm. By practicing, we can definitely crack the CTS assessment. And uh, in that, will be analogy, syllogisms, and uh, there will be a data interpretation and decision making questions and circle questions. And coming mm -hmm. to the verbal ability, there is a synonyms, antonyms, vocabulary, subject work, uh, agreement, passages. I think we should maintain the more speed in the passages where it will be so much long in the cognition. Uh, there will be time just for uh, 35 questions, that's 30 minutes. So for verbal ability, we should have a more speed to crack that English test, verbal ability. So, so after you know, five, uh, yes, ma'am. If students usually, uh, uh go out this way like they will uh keep the rcs for the last yeah yes so, so did you also follow the same yeah yes we uh, uh in verbal ability training we have this so much logic how to crack the passes in a fast manner so and there is a direct uh decision making questions also so it doesn't mm -hmm. take much time but by practicing in the for uh, exams, we can crack it in a fast manner. I think verbal ability is the main section which we can, we should be very fast to clear the exam. Because so there are should... number of questions and lengthy RC also. Yes, and since you mentioned that decision making is also a bit difficult, yeah. it yeah. it not difficult but time consuming definitely. Yeah. The so, whole exam pattern will be uh, not difficult but it will be very medium. So we can mm -hmm. uh, practice well then definitely. Crack the assessment. So after okay. uh, given my exam on twenty third July, I got a selection mail on twenty seventh that you are selected for the Gen C interview. Mm -hmm. uh, but cognizant will not give a much time to prepare for the interview. So they mm -hmm. uh, they gave me the interview on twenty sixth night. It, uh, I got I got a mail that we have interview in the twenty seventh afternoon twelve thirty to one thirty. And okay. there is a no time slot for the interviews, ma'am. There we should wait from twelve thirty to one thirty. Twelve to one thirty. In the uh, it is in the superset platform where we have to write our assessment and interviews. Everything will be done in the superset platform in the conclusion. Okay. okay. So we should give a perfect profile when we are be applying the cognition CTS. We have mm -hmm. to give much more information about our communication skills and where we are good in programming skills. And mm -hmm. while we'll give, while we'll be giving the application form, in that we'll be giving that what are the good skills we have, like Python uh, that we know the theoretical, and we are good in advanced or not, and SQL what we are theoretical or advanced we have advanced knowledge. While uh, now I'll go to interview process. On twenty seventh afternoon, I am waiting from twelve. I joined at twelve thirty, mm -hmm. and it was the interview of thirty five to forty minutes. And first mm -hmm. of all, the as a self introduction for everyone to know about ourselves. And mm -hmm. after that, the cognizant interview was most on our uh, technologies uh, in the future. What we have improved by using these uh, programming skills, or what we have of the basics, and how can we use that in the future? Or uh, different technologies, they are more giving more importance on the different technologies, ma'am. So okay. in my interview, there was not much questions on programming, but there were much more questions on the different technologies and how they were used for the future. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so what did they ask you basically? Yeah. First, they asked me that uh, what are the technologies you know in the uh, you know that uh, recently what are the technologies you know in depth about that. I said that artificial intelligence, machine learning, and deep learning, where have mm -hmm. learned basics of that com uh, cloud computing. They asked mm -hmm. that why we are using the artificial intelligence and where we have, can implement that, and what is the use of that uh, artificial intelligence to improve in the future. Then mm -hmm. at that time, I, I have explained the artificial intelligence, and I have given the example of robotics, how they will be used in the future generation. 
Mm-hmm. So yeah, in this way, I have explained our basic knowledge about the deep learning, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, and I have given the differences explanation. So it will be just uh, we should be be aware of the technologies, and we should know how they will be used in the future, and how they are connected to our programming language. Chatura, mostly, yeah. mostly interview will ask the question from CV only. So, did yeah. you mention all these things in your CV? Yeah, ma'am. I want to say this in cognitive. In my interview, they're not even seen. I think so about the uh, CV. They are seen that the application form, how what we have given that skills. In supposed application, they ask that every language that uh, you know the C programming, then it is basic level or not. And second language, it is a Python. It is a medium or basic level. And they mm-hmm. ask the SQL and different uh, database languages. and we have to take the choices of that and we have given uh, submitted the application form basis on the application form they are asking the questions on technical questions ma'am when were you asked to fill the technical form uh, when we will be applying i mean should... this the uh, this application form when did they ask you to fill the form in july i was applied for the programmable analyst training at the time mm-hmm. they asked uh, when we will be filling the application there will be every language we have to submit for them ma'am Okay, in the very beginning, when yeah, you fill the registration form at the, the time. Beginning. Okay, okay, when you are applying at the time, they'll float a application form in which you have to mention all the skills. Yeah. And yes, with yes. the levels, how much level you know of it, like yeah, intermediate. Yeah, I'll be giving them. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, beginner uh, or advanced. Yeah, yeah. In technical interview, after the technologies, he asked me about the what are the programming languages you are good at, and I mm-hmm. said that I am good at C and Python. He asked the some okay. basic questions in C about the pointers, mm-hmm. arrays, and what are the dynamic memory allocation in C. In simple mm-hmm. questions, he he explained and he asked how they will be used in the programming languages and what is the null mm-hmm. pointer, what is the importance of that. He asked about the simple basic questions in C programming, and he he as I'm from the branch of electronics and communication engineering, they asked about the database that is SQL structured query language. Mm-hmm. I said that sir, okay. I just I just know the basics of the SQL, but he said that we have given in the application form that I know the theoretical knowledge of the SQL. Mm-hmm. So at that time I said yes, sir. I know just basics of the SQL. Then he has some questions on the SQL, that is mm-hmm. HDD and SGD, ma'am. Where mm-hmm. HDD stands for hard disk drives, and SGD mm-hmm. stands for uh, solid uh, state drives. He asked about okay. the SQL drives. I have given his basic questions, but in depth questions, if he asked, I said that I am not sure uh, that about that SQL. Yeah, you need to be honest in front of an yeah, interviewer. Yeah. Right? Yes, ma'am. I have given that answer. Then he said, "Okay, shall we move on to next?" Okay. After mm-hmm. that, this process, he asked the one. I mean, one questions in the interview. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In the suppose that there is a uh, there is a uh, I mean video, and uh, another side there is a. Programming language portal where uh, okay. if they'll, they'll ask the programming, we can write on another uh, screen. We can enable to see that, and programmer also enable to see that uh, programming mm-hmm. portal. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. and uh, there is a chat box where we can return. Uh, they'll give the questions in the chat box. So so okay. uh, the we are given me a quant question about the percentages. It is employees okay. and the company. Some related mm-hmm. question to the percentages. Then we have mm-hmm. to solve in front of him, and we have to explain that uh, what are the techniques we have used for that one question. Would it be easy? Yeah, uh, it is not easy, ma'am. It is up to a ten lines question for the for uh, in quant. Okay, okay. Not Fine. easy. I think it is a uh, difficult. So we should do it. I, I take a uh, one minute or two minutes time to crack the uh, question. Question. I, yeah, I have explained him clearly. Then he said to go on next question. so i okay. think it's not easy to crack the interview by because uh, he will be testing our knowledge on the quant that how we are good at in the quant part and the logical part exactly exactly so uh, did they ask you about the uh, project ah the yes project ma'am is. after getting after completing this quant questions to explanation of the him next then next he went to the project about the uh, what you have done your main project in your college and mm-hmm. as i'm from electronics and communication engineering i have done in the core uh, core field in the vlsa designing 
so yeah mm -hmm. ask me in depth about what is your programming uh, language used any programming language you have used in the uh, your project mm -hmm. then i said that as yes, we have used our programming code but it is not an a uh, uh, it is an programming language like uh, python or a uh, C language, but it is a VHDL and it is a core to the electronics and communication engineering. Then I have okay. explained what we have used and how it is used for the CH. I mean, new technologies. I have explained about that project. If, okay, okay. So, uh, Chatra, this lasted for around 20, uh, 30 to 35 minutes, as you mentioned. Uh, yes, ma'am, 35 to 40 minutes. Uh, as okay. yeah. okay, okay. Did he uh, tell you to code anything? No, ma'am, he asked about in programming language basics questions he asked. And he asked me how the basics are used in the programming. If there is a null pointer, how will it will be our zero or will be a garbage value? Like that, it is a simple basic. With examples, yeah, basically. Yeah, yes, he'll be asking okay. the pointers and different types of pointers. Okay, he's, okay. He is not asking me as a program, but my friends, uh, some of my friends asked to write a code, what he'll be asking. Mm hmm so uh, it is uh, very imperative it is actually imperative to know the basic concepts of yeah. whatever you are learning and also some real time examples of it yeah. and also why are you using it because yeah, you never know what question is going to be posed at you yes, they are testing that how we how uh, how we are learning and how we are practicing that uh, to explain the other persons in the project they are asking that if we'll be explaining, we should know the how it is used in the future and how we can explain with the example. Exactly, exactly. So, Chatura, uh, you have uh, covered almost everything. So, this was the last uh, round for you, right? Yes, ma'am. Uh, after the technical questions, he has he has some HR questions that uh, uh, why you want to join this uh, company as a CTO. Mm -hmm. so as one of the questions in the HR. And he asked about the, my family background, what is our family yes. members and what are they doing? They, these are some questions based on uh, HR round. Yeah. So after how many days did you get the result of the second round? After 27th, uh, in, uh, actually I want to say that uh, after the interview of 40 minutes, indirectly in the interview, he said that you are selected for the CTS. So oh. yeah. in the uh, in, uh, interview only he said that you are selected for the CTS. Uh, we are happy to, they, uh, meet you in CTS. So directly he okay. said in the interview. But uh, the result uh, officially it was announced on uh, August 21st. We got a selection in the mail. Oh, okay, almost uh, one month. Yeah, yeah. Uh, from uh, 27th July to August 21st. Yeah, ma'am, it take a long time to get a mail. And okay. uh, September 1st, we got our uh, full letters and upload documents. Okay, okay. So, uh... Uh, okay, fine. So, Chatura, uh, thank you for sharing your interview experience with us. Uh, I hope it will help numerous students who will be preparing for the interview as of Cognizant as a Gen Z developer. So, all the very best for your future and to all the students uh, who are preparing for their interviews or any competitive exams, all the very best. Thank you so much, Mima.